Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Starman Talk to Talks. I am your host, Evan. With me is Billy, David, and Cody. Woo! Hey, everybody. Greetings to everyone. And guys, let's talk Muppets. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! Animal drum! <laughs> Cody, get out. Yeah, yeah. Cody, you might as well leave right yeah. now if you're going to be like, that. Come on, get hype. Yeah. It's fucking Muppets. I mean, yeah. They're not quite a mop and they're not quite a puppet, but <laughs> man, are they hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this. Woo! Don't do that again. <laughs> Get out. Well, you just made the uh, soundboard go right off the charts. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted hype. No, I wanted enthusiasm. A suit of things, if you didn't know. So, guys, like it or hate it, Muppets have been a part of our childhood. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Concerned how long they've been around. Jeez. Yeah. It's hard to avoid the felt puppety. Mm. Yeah, those felt bastards just don't die. Well, no, they're puppets. They're immortal. Yeah. They only die when we neglect to keep them updated. Yeah. Or set them on fire. Why does something be so dark with you? Who hurt you? Yeah. What <laughs> Muppet touched you in water? Oh, you bet me to it. Because Cody's a void. You can't get something for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just darkness. <laughs> so, David, you're the one who brought this topic, so I'm going to let you start with maybe a little brief history of the Muppets. Let's see. <laughs> it all started with a little show called Salmon Friends. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird variety show. Very old, I think in the 50s. Yeah, I think. <laughs> okay. And from, and from there, Sesame Street happens. <laughs> okay. Wholesome, wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> Which was a bit of a risk back then. Yeah, I can see them. Yeah. The children's programming. Yeah, that and... It was like kind of the first, edu- technically the first educational program. Yeah, that can shoot you in the foot if the educational games can tell you anything. Yeah, yeah. But it worked, made him a household name, which mm-hmm. he both loved and hated. Mm-hmm. Love for making his, his creations popular, hated for pigeonholing him into children's entertainment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which, of course. He tried really hard to get out of with that sex and violence special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this. That's because it was a special back in the 70s, yeah. I believe. I've never seen it, but I've heard of this. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's the 70s. <laughs> and then he made it big with the Muppet Show. A uh, Muppet Show, yeah. Oh, I almost bit my tongue there. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to... <laughs> like... That's where we all remember oh, the yeah. Muppets the most, don't we? Um, um, for the most part, yeah, I do yeah. remember the Muppet show. But I think every yeah. person's first experience was Sesame Street. Yeah. Yeah. Show hands. Who here remembers Fraggle Rock? Yep. Yo. Uh, no one can see us raise our hands on the yeah. show, sir. Whoops. Well, the only one who didn't raise his hand was Cody, I think. Actually, Cody raised his hand. Yeah, I raised All my right. hand. Alright. Everyone here has seen Fraggle Rock. Yeah. Majority rules. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Woohoo! If you're not going to do the yay and raise your arms in a flappy <laughs> motion, don't come to the show. Yeah. <laughs> yay! You're trying. I'll give you props yeah. for trying. <laughs> I just thought I'd bring that up because it was considered his best work by some. Yeah, well, I know they're still trying to do a Fraggle Rock movie. Well, they're trying to. Well, they're still trying to do something with the Muppets too. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they're trying. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're trying. trying. 2020. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that seems to be the <laughs> the date the Muppets return. Yeah. Again. Oh yeah, it was on HBO. So before Sesame Street moved to HBO, there was Fraggle Rock. Mm. It's very odd to hear Sesame Street on HBO when I know what HBO is for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're actually moving away from that now. They're, they've been trying to move away from that, but like everyone who's anyone kind of knows HBO it was where you went for <laughs> other reasons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where I watched. We don't need no, to know. No. Murder. Yeah, thanks, Scotty. We didn't need yeah, to Yeah, we didn't need... We didn't know something that's obvious, but... Yeah. Some people, it's not obvious, apparently. So, we have a brief history of the Muppets. What draws us into watching these puppety figures? <laughs> I don't know how to see. I, I like to say it's well written in yeah, all aspects. Yes. And you got such lovely characters like Crazy Harry. Is that the dynamite guy? Yep. <laughs> all right. I don't really remember Is he also character. the guy that chucks fish? No, that's someone else. Oh, hey, come on. This fish boomerang. <laughs> I don't remember this character. There's going to be a lot of characters we're going to name that you're not going to remember. Hey, oh, Beauregard, the janitor. I do not remember that character. <laughs> okay, well, one thing in the when they redid the Muppet movie, like when they, the, the new one that they put out in 2011, yeah. they clean up the uh, theater, they open the door, yeah, and there's Bogart. Look, it's like, it's like Bogart, Scooter, good to see you. Where's everyone been? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, that was. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Lou Zealand is the guy you're thinking of. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that character. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly throw us bitch at people. I know. <laughs> Swedish chef, of course, and everyone has to remember him. Yeah? Well, it's like... It's like oh, it's yeah, like, he's a classic yeah. one. This person was at the scene of Muppet Treasure Island. It's like they showed him coking, like, on the uh, island. It's like... Well, you see the bench was well, I also think we're gonna get him in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, he also first appeared in the Muppet Show Sex and Violence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and then you But he wasn't the Swedish chef, he was the Swedish butcher. <laughs> no, he was still the Swedish chef. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for some reason he was subtitled in Chinese. Interesting. <laughs> you just didn't understand what he said. You're never gonna understand it after you read the Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's Animal. Everyone loves Animal. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure Billy does. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the band he was in? Like Dr. Electric Team? Band. Electric no. Band. Yeah. <laughs> Electric Band. Yeah, that was another good. That band. is a good Ooh, band yeah. name. They, I know. <laughs> like you would pay to see. You like, pay money. I would pay money to see Electric Mayhem. Yeah. And then be awfully shocked if it is the puppets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had an awesome bus. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember the bus. It was in the movie, I believe. Yeah. Might not have First seen one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's been a while. I'm going to throw it out here. I haven't seen any of the Muppet movies. Oh. I, I've seen them all. Okay. And I've owned, I think, most of them growing up. That's cool. Um, like, I think the only one I may have seen was Muppets Take Manhattan. Yeah. But, mm, I've seen that a few times. Not... Not great material no. in my mind. I don't like the doctor scene where he like uh, Kermit got hit by a car, I think. Yeah. And their tech is testing his reflexes, so he hits him on the knee. Yeah. He just looks down at his knee and then up at the doctor like what? <laughs> yeah. That... <laughs> I'm a freaking puppet. What did you want? That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, because. Yeah, 
Yes, it's I don't, anything the children related, like the Christmas Carol and. Oh yeah, Mom yeah. Christmas Carol. I was like, come on, light the lamp, not the rat. Light the lamp, not the rat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about that one Christmas special where all three universes oh. collided? Yeah. Uh, mm. Muppet Family Christmas. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you talk about like Marvel doing crossovers. That yeah. was the first original crossover. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I have no other re- reasons to prove otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like that special. Oh, yeah. Like, I look back at it, I was like, yeah, it still holds up. Hey, just just remember one thing. Wanna, watch out for the icy patch. <laughs> 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 Never gets old. Nope. <laughs> it was... Actually, Muppets are known for their crossovers. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I, I think they cross over a lot of times. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean... I mean with each other. Yeah. Like, take Sesame Street, for example. There are, like, multiple Sesame Streets in each country, and each one has a unique Muppet. And I think a few of them even guest starred in the U.S. one and vice versa. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's called an expanded universe, sir. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Expanded universe. Yeah. Done before Marvel and DC. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Sesame Street, of all things. things. Yep. Okay, I'm going to throw out some controversy here. Bird and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw that! No, like... I always thought it was just two guys who had the roommate together because they had to have an apartment on Sesame Street. Yeah, I mean, actually, first of all, the, the, the it's, Ford apartment on Sesame Street in New York. Yeah. yeah. Rent's not cheap there. Rent is not cheap there. <laughs> For a nice place in Sesame Street, Street, which is probably like the cleanest street, street on the freaking New York side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's rent's going to be pretty freaking high. Yeah. Well, also, they... they slept in separate breads. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't see it either. No, I mean... <clears throat> but so many freaking parodies. Yeah, a, pa- like, a lot of parodies why? say yeah. that they're together, yeah. we'll say. <laughs> like... Which is nothing wrong with no, that. No. I, if you no. wanted to change them, like, yeah, they actually are a thing. I was like, ah, cool. Mm. Progressive. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, originally, I believe uh, Frank Oz and Jim Henson originally did the Bird Ernie. They were buds, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun <laughs> from that, I think. <laughs> Now, if you want to talk controversial Muppets, I'm bringing up Kami, or Kami, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name, the world's first HIV-positive Muppet. Oh! <laughs> what? You're gay, then? You're gay, then, Evan? not. <laughs> um, yeah, forgot about that one. <laughs> that one got swept under the rug real quick. No, it wasn't that she was swept under the rug. It's that, that she was she premiered on the South African version of Sesame Street. Ah, uh, uh, well, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was just quick history lesson. <laughs> quick ge- geography quick lesson. lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that they did tasteful and classy and. No, no, they when they do something like this, they do try to be tasteful. Oh, I mean, oh, like. Yeah. It's not like her life sucks to go through it. She's still happy po- and positive. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> she's, she's teaching you, hey, HIV is a thing in your world. And yeah. you should be afraid. Should be afraid of people who have it, yeah. but you should just be aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you take that out, she's just a regular Muppet. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Different about her at all. Like they did one for autism recently. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I like that they're making Muppets specialized to different diseases and, like, just make you aware of certain things that yeah. are, are right there. Like, just so kids are aware of, like, hey, these things are out there. Don't yeah. judge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, David, Muppets tonight. 
I don't know if people remember that one very well. Oh, I... I remember... To be honest, I remember that one in the original Muppet Show. I think I remember this more... It was just like out of, in the evening, was it not? Yeah, it was like... It was like the... It was the trying to revive it in the 90s. And yeah. It was supposed yeah. to be like... Like Clifford was the new host. It was like supposed to be like a talk show type thing. Oh, yeah, the reggae guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. Oh. Yeah, I remember vaguely of this, but I think I still preferred the actual show yeah. over tonight. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, but I remember just watching that because some of them guest shows I had, they even had, like, a Garth Brooks on it. Yeah. That's, yeah. like, out of all the episodes they did from up tonight, that was always my favorite. Because yeah. with such, like, there was one part what uh, he said he was going to go on stage and perform a country song with the chickens and a fiddle. And so I was thinking, if I was a rich man from Fiddle on the Roof, <laughs> and my favorite line, the station manager, was like, I thought, you said he was going to do a country song. Yeah, but he didn't say which country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, that's that's good. That's actually pretty clever. Oh, yeah. Like, I was like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that joke wasn't half bad. <laughs> Wasn't half good either. <laughs> <laughs> the critics, Statler and Waldorf, Waldorf are my favorite <laughs> Muppets of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Even as a kid, I was like, wanted to see uh, more of them. I want them to have their own show. Yeah. <laughs> they sort of did, like a web show but um, from the balcony. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't, I don't know how long it lasted, but... Yeah, yeah it was, um, like, it was, like, oh, man, yeah, like, I, I watched it, because they used to have, um, like, every episode, they would have the balconism, like, yeah. a, supposed to be, like, a, the one I always remember is, like, a coffin. If someone, if a character coughs before the halfway point of the movie, they're going to die, they're dead at the end of the movie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, five episodes. All right. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, I was, like... Yeah. Something to look up later for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was really fun. It was, like, I mean, come on, they were hilarious. Yeah. They added that sass that the show yeah. needed. Yeah. And, well, and I remember when they were on Muppets Tonight, they were in, like, a little nursing home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have the violent Muppet. Which one? Miss Piggy. She's an interesting character. I didn't care for her much, yeah. but... Poor Kermit. Yeah. I, I, oh, I'm man. sorry for Kermit. I was like, it's a pig. You can do so much better, better, Kermit. You're kind of a celebrity. Yeah. yeah. And she just backhands him, kicks him, throws him through windows. The fear times that backfired on her. <laughs> yeah. Like that time Big Bird guest starred and she was going to cry chop him but she <laughs> fell off the balcony instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you okay down there? <laughs> okay, this is going to be a bit random. Anyone remember Spider-Man Turn Off the Light or Turn Off the Dark or something? It was amusing. Yeah, movie. I remember... Sesame Street, of all things, took a jab at us with Spider Monster the Musical. Uh. Grover in a Spider Man costume trying to fly and always falling into the audience. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. No, I've not seen this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, it was on Sesame Street, so probably not. Yeah. No. Like, no real educational value of that scene, just it, it only existed to make fun of that musical. Yeah, um, yeah but this. They, they do a lot of like parodies of like popular stuff. Yeah. Still. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Johnny Cash on Sesame Street two times? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids shows can say that? No. Okay. The one thing I remember, and it's not really a Muppet related, it's Kermit related. It's when they're doing the ice bucket challenge. And Vince McMahon challenged Kermit the Frog. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, and the subsequent video of Kermit the Frog doing the ice bucket challenge. Um, that was hilarious. Yeah. I want to let people know that I'm a frog and this ice water might kill me. <laughs> like, I did see that, but... Oh, uh, no, because when the, uh, new, when the new Muppet movie came out, they were on Raw to promote it. Yeah. <laughs> which, oh my... God, uh, it was hilarious, because uh, people were... Uh, there was one of the backstage things they did with uh, Beaker and Seamus. Yeah. And it's like, it's like... Like, this other was like, ah, how's she going, fellas? Like, she was like, ah, so wait, can't make her the cousin of a union, the family reunion this year. It's <laughs> like, ah, but, but tell her that Joy I said hello. <laughs> nice. Then, then I think the round later, that year, the tribute to the troops, and they did, uh, um, kept saying, Con Brian, Danny Brown, and Goldface, like, I am not, and Anne was like, Goldface, I am not a Goldface. Friends, there was a Muppet goat. Cousin Daniel? Like, sniff some cousin Daniel. <laughs> I'm like, nice, yeah. <laughs> just by that laugh, you found something. No, I'm just amused. Not yet. I'm just amused by the camaraderie we got going on here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love the Muppets? Oh, no. I mean,. God, I know, like, I remember seeing Bubba Treasure Island when they came out in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's just go around the room. Favorite Muppet. Ooh. Okay. Is the same the Eagle kind of? Because it reminds me of someone I knew. Yeah. <laughs> the highly moral guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cody? Uh, I'll say either Kermit or Animal. Okay, that's fair yeah. enough. I'll also say Kermit by Duel of the Crazy One. Yeah. You mean the Dynamite Dude? Yep. Crazy <laughs> Harry. Yeah. I do love Crazy Harry. <laughs> And of course, the guy who first the fish. That's yeah. just, yeah. I have no idea why, but I find it so <laughs> funny every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just launching fish at everyone for no reason. <laughs> and no one questions it. <laughs> now, I have a question, and no one might have an answer for me. What the heck was Gonzo? Oh, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. They well, tried to explain the Muppets just... from space. That I don't think people <laughs> fondly remember that, so they kind of slipped under the rug. Now, okay. it's supposed to be he's finds out that he's supposed to be from outer space. Uh, okay. So yeah. some alien life form that we're yeah. just gonna sweep under the rug and which I don't know a lot of people try to forget that movie. I own it, so <laughs> of course you. Do. I, I, I just called him a bear. So, like I don't know. How many bears do you know that have a snoz like that? I don't know. Where are you going in the woods? I don't know. I just... It's been a while since I've seen whatever the hell Gonzo is. Yeah. No, because I just remember Muppet from Space. I remember seeing it and the funniest cameo in the movie was Hogan's cameo. Oh, yeah? It was weird. One, they sort of... Uh, they would go send Rizzo down the lab for some tests and they bring in like they're like wait a minute wrestling legend hello with Hulk Hogan and like that's like a promo the, like Rizzo's like come on what are your fans gonna think well, what do I care I'm a bad guy now yeah <laughs> so here's a question are cookies crack to Cookie Monster they might as well will be yeah like, he's he got changed to Veggie Monster Oh no, they, they, they reverted them back. Oh, thank God. Holy. Okay, I did not hear that. I was good. For the longest time, he was turned to Veggie Monster to promote eating vegetables to children. What? Was this recent or? No, it was like 10 years ago, I think. Okay, yeah. I. Oh. And I guess recently they changed them back, or quite a few years ago they changed them okay, back. Yeah, I never But he did it. have a stink where he was Veggie Monster. And I remember hearing that and being appalled. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I had a self-cookie monster growing up. 
Same, <laughs> I think. We had a cookie jar shaped like Cookie Monster when we were growing up. So, you change them to Veggie Monster and try to put veggies in them. It's not going to work. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's holding a giant cookie, too. I was like, <laughs> he, he's freaking Cookie Monster. Let him eat cookies. Yeah. They didn't kill him one of these days, but whatever. I mean, that was a funny muffin who can't go snuffle up, I guess. Do you remember? I do remember him. Yeah. It was probably yeah. the one where, like, no, like, only Bur- or, uh, Big Bird could see, see him. him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, until, like, the side, everyone could see him. Yeah. Yeah. Because they didn't want us. <laughs> They're like, it's an imaginary friend, so kids will like the idea of uh, having an imaginary friend. And then I think it turned into, well, we don't want kids to have hallucinations. <laughs> yeah, I know it wasn't that. No? It, I believe it was they were because no one believed Big Bird. Yeah. And there was, and some people got worried that what if kids stopped? If you know, like if you talk to someone, no one believes you. You're not gonna say anything to them. Yeah. And so they were worried, like, what happens if a kid got in danger and they never told anyone because ah. they thought no one would believe them. Fair okay. enough. Fair that's, enough. That's actually a really good reason. Yeah, yeah. that's a valid reason. <laughs> if we're looking at Sesame Street characters, the Count has been one of my favorites. Oh my god, yeah. Mm-hmm. How could he not be? <laughs> <laughs> he has a great car. He yeah. does have a freaking smooth car. I yeah. love his car. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, okay, I had a the Sesame Street Farm. Never see. It, it was a playset. Yeah. No. <laughs> I remember him like it was like that. Let's get you toy. I remember that. <laughs> I had a dress me up Ernie, which is like he had like buttons and zippers and everything, so you knew how to like tie shoes. Oh. Fasten zippers and button up buttons. Okay, and that's good. As a kid, you know how you like wrestled with your stuffed animals, right? <laughs> yeah. So I had an Alf doll that I wrestled with, yeah. and then Ernie was like hard mode oh. because it was hard to punch Ernie and not hit the zipper yeah. or a button. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tap out, tap out. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine having people like you were a monster. <laughs> but that's funny. I used to do that too. Yeah, like, like, what kid didn't yeah. wrestle with their stuffed animals a little? Yeah. Like, I had a, um... Yeah. Um, um... One thing growing up, I had... Was, oh, it was a Sesame Street car game. Oh, yeah. And I... And, like I said, I used to play that a lot, because there was, like, a bunch of games you could do with them. Yeah. Nice. Well, guys, that's an episode of The Muppets done on uh, Starman Debates. Oh. <laughs> wow. That what? <laughs> Should we be proud of ourselves? Have we actually got a, have an episode on this? I was not sure about a full episode of this. But <laughs> we did it. Hey, no one thought we would do a whole episode on food, but apparently we put that off. Uh, <laughs> I, that was off. less worrisome for me. I could talk through for days, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you all for listening. Uh, Starman and Talk to Talks. I'm your host, Devin. Oh, Billy Diggett. I'm Cody. Have a great night. David, see you later. And this podcast with Bob Green and Bob S. For Starman. Yeah. <laughs> and there were four, the amount of members. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. <laughs>